All right, so we are still within the first week of these ducklings being hatched, and they're already totally freaked out by me because I put them in this box and took them away from their family, which they're already destroying the box. But I wanted to show you because I did do a short video showing the differences in the male Welsh Harlequins and the female Welsh Harlequins built at birth. And I said, hey, this is something that's going to happen within the first 24 hours, preferably maximum 48, but within a couple of days, their bills will quickly change colors. Now, as a recap, the female Welsh Harlequin ducklings will have a pink bill with a black bean or dot at the end of it, and the males will have a dark colored bill. Now, this can get confusing for people who are new to keeping these ducklings because as adults, the males have a lighter colored bill, usually a greenish tint, with black bean or dot at the end and we call it a bean because it literally is like a little black bean at the end of their bill and the females have solid black bills and dark legs if they are good quality that is to say that sometimes they are not so this always isn't always accurate but these babies have already started changing their bill colors and so the one that was previously like okay this one has a really dark bill bill has lightened up and some of the ones that just had the pink bills with a little bit of darkness to it and maybe a little line of darkness in the center has started changing completely and they've kind of two of them have become opposites and one is a little confusing now believe it or not I'm just gonna freak it out this one you would think whenever you look at it that it was one of the ones that was male because the male had the dark bill but actually, this is one of the female ducklings, and you'll have to excuse me, this duckling does not want to be held, and I don't want to completely terrify it. So, this one is actually one of the female ducklings. Its bill has already got significantly darker, whereas the male's bill has actually lightened up quite a bit compared to what it was, and that one would be this one. And... Then this one's bill has stayed pretty much the same. It has gotten a little darker. You can see that the darkness has kind of spread. If I can get her to hold still. Um, I'm sorry, baby. You can see that the darkness has kind of spread up her bill a lot. It wasn't that far up. It was just a little bean and a slight line in the middle. And now the darkness is all the way up to here. And also I want to show you their legs. So they have some yellowish tint legs. You can see the gray color coming in. And so, look at that. Now the male's legs will lighten up. That is, they will not have dark gray legs. But see, all of their legs have that tint to it. So, if you're if you're Welsh Harlequins, the females especially start getting older, and they have yellow or et orange legs. Um, something is wrong. They're either mixed. They have some really faulty genetics. Usually, they're mixed. And one of the most common ducks to be mixed with are silver apple yards. But they are very similar if you're new to ducks and you don't know the differences between the breeds. Another thing to watch out for is that I have ducks outside um, that are half Welsh Harlequin, half Mallard, and they look identical to Khaki Campbell's. I mean, perfect Khaki, Cam khaki Campbell build, coloring, leg color, and they ha are not. I mean, Welsh Harlequins are a genetic mutation of Khaki Campbell's. This is true. But I'm just saying it's really careful to watch out because just based off of color alone and not truly knowing genetics, you would look at some of my ducks and say, oh, this is definitely this breed, not knowing, well, actually, uh, a flying mallard came in there and made those babies. So it's really funny how things work out when it comes to duck genetics. But I think since we have so many questions about bill sexing, I still have so many questions about bill sexing and how it works. This was a really important for me to kind of get in here within the first week and make this video and say, hey, these are some things to look out for. Look how quickly the bills can change. Because if you're like I was when I first started and you're going off and you're buying ducklings that are several days old, that's it. You don't really know what you're getting and people can say, oh, well, look at the bill. Well, it's been over 48 hours. Really, it's been over 24 hours. That's no longer something you should base things off. And the reality is, is that unless you have been raising Welsh Harlequins for a while and you're really culling your lines and you're labeling male and female ducklings 
um, from the get-go and watching their bill color and taking pictures and documentation and watching them as they age on how they color and waiting that full first year or even up to the second molt to make sure that you have really good lines and really good genetics before breeding, then you're not always going to get accuracy when it comes to bill color. In fact, in hatchery birds, generally the bill color is completely inaccurate. The coloring is very off. I mean, especially with the silvers like I have, they're basically becoming white birds with a couple of black flecks on them. And I think that takes away from the beauty and love of the breed because having all of that pretty golden tint is really what made me fall in love with well Charlotte ones. And when you're seriously looking at birds for your homestead, you wanna think about where you're getting your birds, what effort they put into this. Are these birds being used for as show birds and exhibition? Are they being used on a homestead? Are they working birds that are gonna go out and forage? Are they birds that people have checked bill color and leg color? Are they the right bill? Do they lay eggs? Um, like you're expecting for your homestead and high quality. You know, do they have good feed conversion? These are all things that are so important to look especially whenever you have a limited space like us. We're on 0.68 of an acre. It Eventually we are going to expand, but this is what we have right now. And we are essentially using our first home as our learning center to get things right so we understand what we're doing. And I'm just hoping that all of this documentation about these Welsh Harlequins is helping someone else because it was so difficult to find information, even from people who had been doing it for a long time. When I started kind of going to like um, Holderhead's website and reading what he had written and the work him and his wife had done on these Welsh Harlequin ducks and the standard and seeing pictures, I realized, you know, just how crazy it is how much stock varies and how a lot of people even if you've been raising birds for a while that doesn't necessarily mean that they have all of the knowledge available to them yet that they've researched and found all of these things you know different people are gonna study birds for a different amount of times raise them for different purposes and i think that that's really important to think um you know i, I hate to say this but the truth is, don't fall into the trap of, oh, I've been doing this for X amount of years, so I know better. If you feel like something is wrong, if you feel like genetically your bird doesn't look right, trust your gut instinct because you can be doing something for X amount of years and be doing it wrong that entire time or misunderstand information. So don't sell yourself short. Um, be careful when you're buying your Welsh Harlequins. Kind of check out everything you want to know. If you're buying this breed because of their bill color and being able to sex them, be aware of that and look for good quality birds or somebody that kind of focuses on that. If you're just buying them because you think they're beautiful, then buy them because they're beautiful. There's nothing wrong with that. I have birds outside that I just love their personality. They may not lay as many eggs, um, but they're sweet and gentle and I love them. So I think that that's something to remember. Just buy what works for you, but pay attention to these things. Now, before I go on any more of a tangent, I'm going to go put these babies up because they're already wrecking this box and already so tired of me. And they're going to go hop in there with the other ducklings that hatched with them. I only got three pure Welsh Harlequins and the rest are just kind of mixed ducklings from outside. Um, but my Welsh Charlotte Guns, we went through a pretty harsh freeze, and these were the only three eggs that really made it through the freeze and them just being such new layers. They've only been laying for about mm, two months or so, so it's still really early. The great thing is spring is coming. My Welsh Charlotte Guns already have a nest in a safe little container house that I built of nine eggs that they're all kind of working together to monitor. So I'm really excited to see some more of these babies hatch.